Hi guys, I am here with a Bible study. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. We had the craziest wind here today. I thought for sure the electric was going to go out. It was so crazy. It was so windy at my aunt's house today too. I was talking to her and she said she's got a rug outside of her front door there by the step, you know, for people to wipe their feet off and stuff before they come in the house. And she said it blew all the way out to where they had their garden way out by the field where the cows and stuff are, which is like way out there. So it's very windy today and it's warm. It got up to like 78 degrees today. This is January. Which the snow is probably going to hit us really hard next month when I got to go out to the doctors again. Is it snowing where you guys live? Are you guys getting any snow? Well, today, guys, we are going to do our Bible study in Proverbs. And it'll be Proverbs chapter 3. And what I'm going to read to you right now is Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight amen I think we all know that don't we trust in God always trust in God can't do nothing without God we try to do it on our own. We'll mess it up for sure. I know I would. All right, so what I'm going to do is read all of Proverbs chapter 3 for us. And then I will read the devotion, which is by Heidi Gall today. I think she wrote another one for us in here too, somewhere. One of these. I think she, I'm pretty sure she wrote another one of these. And um, then I will read the homework they want us to do. All right, so let me read um, Proverbs chapter 3. Further benefits of wisdom. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord's disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the depths were divided 
and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden, of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it. When it is your power to act, do not say to your neighbor, come back later, I'll give it tomorrow, when you now have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent man or choose any of his ways. For the Lord detests a perverse man, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but gives grace to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. All right, guys, and that was Proverbs chapter 3, all of chapter 3. All right, now let me read the devotion that goes along with it. My eyes are, like, really blurry. They get this way every night, my eyes do. I don't know what's wrong with them. These don't help much, tell you the truth. Temperatures continue to rise as I race to complete a series of errands. I sighed, stepping into the car. Two more stops and I could head home. As I turned the key in the ignition, a light shone on the dashboard, accompanied by incessant ringing. The needle on the temperature gauge flipped over to red telling me the engine had overheated. My day was crazy busy as it was, and I didn't have a minute to spare. Calling for a tow would eat up at least an hour. Fighting panic, I called my husband David's cell. No answer. I tried again with the same result. I was on my own. Panicky, I lowered the window and stared at my hands, open and empty in my lap empty but not useless i decided to pray why had it taken so long i would put it off as a last resort something to fall back on when everything else failed i bowed my head and asked for jesus's help i didn't know what was wrong with the car or how to fix it but i knew what was wrong with me i trusted jesus with my forever but not only my today if my soul came equipped with a warning light, it would have lit up the car's interior. As I prayed for forgiveness, his peace filled my soul. Minutes ticked by, then an hour. Enough time passed for the engine to cool. My mood improved and I drove straight home. Jesus had rescued me for today and forever. Heidi Gall Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't just save the car and get her home. He saved her as well. And let's see what they want us to do for homework tonight. Our faith step homework. Next time you face an upsetting experience, which I'm sure we all will, take a deep breath and pray. Ask Jesus for direction. He'll clear your head 
and straighten your path. So instead of getting mad about it and going crazy, <laughs> just sit there and try to calm down, clear your mind, and pray. Just talk to Jesus about it. Clear your mind and talk to Jesus about it. And that is our homework. Do that the next time something bad happens. Don't get upset. Just clear our minds and talk to Jesus. Pray. Just talk to Jesus like he's sitting right there next to us, guys. That's what we're going to do. That is our homework. That is our homework. It may take a while for something like that to happen, but that is our homework. Okay? Don't forget it. That's your homework. So you got to do it. No matter how long it takes, that's your homework. And I want you guys to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Bible study tonight. And I hope you guys all have a good night's sleep. Bye, guys.